There's essentially three ways to hide materials inside of Cinema 4D and Octane Render. The first one is inside of Octane Render in the Live Viewer. If you go up to the top menu bar here, you'll see an icon in between the padlock and the render region, it's a circle. And if you hover over it, it says clay mode. If you select this and click it once, it will turn your render into clay mode. So it will still keep all your camera effects as well as all your lighting, but it will remove all the materials from your viewer. The next way to hide materials is also through the Octane Live Viewer, and it is the Check Material Update. If you disable this, this is going to make it so anytime you change any of your materials, it doesn't actually affect and relaunch the Live Viewer. So I could come in here to the shorts, which are red, and change them to blue. And I could come into the shoes, which are yellow, and I could change them to green, right? And you can see here that nothing in fact changes. Um, however, if you do refresh and send your scene again uh, to restart the render, it will update them, but it's not going to interactively change them. Even if I move around here, right, it's still maintaining the previous materials that we had inside of Cinema and Octane. All right, um, but if I hit refresh here, or if I disable this, let's just hit refresh, you'll see it'll do the most recent material that is on it. But this is a really nice way to be able to work on your material, but not have the live viewer constantly relaunch and refresh while you're tweaking a material. And the third and final way to hide materials inside of Cinema 4D and Octane, this one is going to be inside of Cinema 4D and the Cinema 4D interface. And if you see here while you're working, because I have this black background and the ears and the arms and the body and legs and all that stuff are black too, it's kind of blending these together and making it kind of hard to read. Sometimes you'll just have certain lighting that makes it difficult as well. But in this case, if I just disable the materials by coming up to options, and disabling material. The quick command is N and then the letter Q. But if I do that, you can see that it removes the materials just from the viewport, keeps them in obviously our object menu as well as the live viewer.